everyone. Hello everyone. This is Rubix with part one, Palm Chi Panic of the Sonic CD video walkthrough brought to you by GameAnyone.com. And uh, let's get started here. So, Palm Chi Panic, it's pretty easy. Uh, the main thing you have to worry about to get the good ending is getting 50 rings and uh, keeping them to the end of the course. And also, if you want, it's optional. You don't have to do it to get a good ending to the game, but uh, it's good for completionists. Uh, you can go and make a good future for the zone. Now, the zones and the acts are switched on Sonic CD. It's an act which is the whole, which is a whole set of zones. It's confusing since it's normally the zone and then the acts on top of that. And that was a pass sign. So what we do is that means we're set to travel in that time zone. You just Keep going fast, and you'll warp. If you accidentally stop, then you are either going to lose it, or you're not, or you're going to be able to try again, and uh, all that. So we're in the past. That's the main place you want to go. There's nothing really too much about the future, but um, now since we're in the past, we have multiple things we need to do. First of all, we need to go and find the roboticizer, and uh, all the rings are pretty much uh, respawn, but some of them are different locations, so it's a good place to get some more rings if you need to. I ended up messing there up there, but oh well. Just take your time. Don't panic if you lose all your rings, because there is plenty of rings to go around here. Here's a good area. Gone extra time from that uh, t television. And down here some more. In the present, you would be able to jump up and get a shield up there and uh, another ring TV. But uh, we can't do that in the past, so sometimes there's uh, little small differences. There are a lot of these floating blocks all over the levels. I don't really get them. Get them. But um, as you can see in the bottom left, our live counter is uh, switched to a P, meaning we're in the past. And uh, if we were in the future, it would be an F instead. Pretty awesome. So let's go down here. And our, the roboticizer is pretty close. Just avoid the future sign, don't go to the future, the back to the present, until you destroy the roboticizer. Just try to uh, stay in the past, that's the best uh, plan of action here. As you can see that was the roboticizer right there. We didn't destroy it yet because I wanted to show another way to get it. If um, you didn't go the upper route, what you can do is you can just head over here, just uh, hit in spring, it'll jump you up. You just go back, and uh, you go on it on these ledges. I'm gonna get some more rings, why not? Try finish off the level with a hundred, which I didn't actually do. So then we just go off back and forth between the ledges and uh, there we go. Destroy the robotic sizer. Robot sizer. And that destroys all enemies in the zone. Pretty awesome. Unless we go to the present and the future they'll come back. But uh, that makes it much easier to keep all your rings. And uh, there are still spikes you have to worry about though. And as you can see, because we finished with more than 50, there was a giant ring. Jump into it. Blah blah blah. Sonic made a good future because uh, he did. Destroy the roboticizer. Pretty awesome. So here is the special stage. Now it's a sort of 3D thing. It's actually pretty cool. I like the backgrounds. And uh, what you just have to do is destroy all the UFOs. Your main enemy is those little zigzag things which will take away your rings. It doesn't really matter, but the uh, rings can give you extra points at the end to uh, let you get an extra life. Uh, avoid the water. It accelerates your time countdown. Once all the time is up, you'll lose a special stage. So just destroy the UFOs. Don't be too fast. Don't be too crazy. Don't do too many risks. If uh, you get under 20 seconds of time, a blue UFO will appear. If you destroy that, you get more time, so it's pretty awesome. There we go, we got the time stone. The green one. Pretty awesome. So we got enough points to get uh, extra life. Pretty awesome. Now it's time for zone 2. So, zone 2 is... I don't know, but pretty much it's much harder to go in the past in this one because uh, there's not really too much opportunity you can go in the past, so you gotta be careful of this. 
Now, for some reason, I really wanted to see what sign that was. I couldn't tell if it was uh, future or past, but uh, it was past, so I decided why not to go get it. There we go. And I actually tried to go in the past, but I failed miserably. There's no real place you can do it except in one area, which uh, I'm definitely going to be pointing out. Super Shoes can probably make it harder because you go twice the speed, but that doesn't mean twice the speed 